In the heart of Sussex, here amidst the rolling hills and stunning countryside, I have found my muse. My name is Josephine and I'm a painter, a poet and a seeker of truth. I grew up in Sussex. I was always struck by the beauty of the countryside here. The way the light falls on the hills, the colours of the sky at sunset, and the way that the trees move in the wind. It's very beautiful. I felt I would like to start to document my process as an artist, my inspirations, my techniques, and share some of what I've learnt. My art practice has changed quite a bit over the years. I like to think I'm leaning into the essence of my work now. I'm shaving off all the elements attached to ego. I know that in itself sounds pretentious, but it's a constant evolution. Although I don't like to romanticise art as a battle, because it can be remarkably simple. I believe in listening over thinking. It's easy to overthink art and it, it's the death of creativity. I prefer the imaginary world of the expressionists and surrealists. To me, art is about creation, not replication. I'm not just inspired by the natural world. I have also been deeply influenced by the history and culture of this land, as well as art from across the world particularly the work of the Bloomsbury Group, which is very near to me. I love the way the Bloomsbury Group channeled their creativity in a completely unique and personal way. They embraced living as totally an artistic means, as a tool of expression of their personal freedom and they rejected societal norms and explored their sexuality. I have myself not just found inspiration in other artists, I've also found solace and insight through my own practice and daily meditation. I am not alone in this. Many famous artists and thinkers throughout history have relied on meditation to help them find their creative voice. Meditation has been quite a tra uh, transformative practice for me. It has helped me calm my inner mind and find a deeper sense of connection within myself and the world around me. It has been through my practice of meditation that I've been able to explore esoteric realms, much the same as the surrealist artist Leonora Carrington and Remedios Varro. There have been many artists through history who have used their art as a means of connecting with something greater than themselves to seek a deeper truth of existence. This is something I'm particularly interested in exploring. There have been many artists throughout history who have used their art as a means of connecting with something greater than themselves to seek a deeper truth of existence. This is something I'm particularly interested in exploring, the true nature of consciousness. Artists like Hilma of Klint and Georgiano Houghton who used their work to channel spiritual energies and create a bridge between the physical and spiritual worlds. I'm most recently been fascinated by the way artists such as Hilmer of Klint were able to tap into something beyond the physical realm 
and creates art that is infused with a sense of mystery and wonder. I suppose I relate to this kind of transcendental art as I have always been connected to something beyond what we consider reality based on a rational level. I believe that everyone has got the ability to create something beautiful and that art can be a powerful therapeutic tool for anyone looking to explore their own inner world and find a sense of peace. Through my own arts and meditation practice, I hope that you too can find yourself and become more confident and free in your creative abilities. I suppose you could say that I'm on a mission to help others find their own creative voice, to connect with the beauty of the natural world and to tap into the spiritual energies that flow all around us. So why don't you join me? Let's look through the world with these magical glasses. <laughs>